Good morning again everyone. I managed to get out today. This morning I wanted to talk about Philippians 4 and uh, if you've been following on the 40 days of prayer you will see that there's uh, mention of that verse in verse 4 where it says uh, to rejoice always and again I say rejoice. You might be thinking well how can I do that always? I'm stuck home, I can't do anything. Paul was in jail and he sang songs. He sang praise to God even though he was in jail. So the guy who wrote that meant what he was talking about. And the other thing I'd like to talk about this morning is just contentment, how quickly it evaporates. It's just so easy to be discontent. So I'd encourage you now to actually do what it says there and in that 40 days of prayer to write down 10 things to be thankful for. And, uh, and check them off. So that's my encouragement for this morning. I know it's not easy, put some worship music on. Uh, have a good day everyone, and I'll be praying for you all. See ya. The other thing I should say is that uh, he doesn't do this in his own strength. He does it with the power of God. There's a lot of people who talk about mindfulness and positive thinking and they're all fine things to a point but ultimately the power to be content in the most dire of situations really just comes from the Lord, from His Holy Spirit. I pray that you'll find that contentment today. I nearly didn't add this bit but I think it's important to point that out. The source of our power, the source of our life and the source of our contentment. And what's interesting is that that verse where it says, I can do all things through through Christ, is immediately after he talks about having found the way to be content in any and every situation in verses 14 and 15. So there it is, a bit longer today. See you later. Now, I got a picture of sunrise I'll put too for those who missed it. Bye.